Hello and welcome to the Red TV. Liverpool beating Bournemouth 2-1. It's player rating time. We're going to start with Adjian, who's a barmy goalkeeper, isn't he? Um, don't think he could do anything wrong. Or don't think he did anything wrong for their goal. Um, yeah, 6 out of 10 for him, why not? Um, on to the right back, Trent Alexander-Arnold. Again, a couple of really uh, sort of typical of the team's performance today. I thought some good, some bad. Um, Trent, you know... There was one corner that was absolutely friggin' atrocious. I think he P-rolled it into the box or something. But then he whipped that one ball in, as I mentioned, on my match action that Simpson pulls off the line. And um, probably a, maybe a 6 out of 10 for 10 again today. Um, long, uh, the centre-backs, Gomez and Van Dijk. Um, Gomez out-muscled, maybe, or fouled in the build-up to their goal. I'm not sure. Generally speaking, he was sound. I'll give him a 7 out of 10. Virgil won everything in the air today. Um, but... Uh, and he obviously gets an assist as well for Sadio Mane, so I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. Um, but, you know, again, you know, we were playing a very high line and they got in behind us a few times. And I don't know whether that's down to the midfield, not protecting the defence enough, or us pushing on a little bit too high. But, yeah, Virgil, you know, with an assist and, and what else he did, I think he deserves that 8 out of 10. James Milner. That clearance off the line alone gives him at least two points. Um, so I'm going to give him an eight out of ten, I think. Probably. No, lad, I want me fucking hat up. I'm cold, mate, you know what I mean? DT's allowed to do it. I'm fucking allowed to do it, Paul. Um, I've just said that on camera. <laughs> So James Milner there, uh, yeah, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 just for the clearance, just for getting there, uh, just for hoofing the ball clear a few times at the end of the game. DT, I love you, mate. Thank you very much. You have allowed me to wear my hood up and that sounds, even though I look like a dickhead. Anyway, uh, we'll move on to the middle of the park. Uh, Fabinho, um, a little bit rusty again, I think, Fabinho for me. Um, doesn't look at... Uh, like at the like he's at the races to be honest with you. I think a little bit slow in possession. Everything seems a little bit just laboured. Um, thinking about things maybe a little bit too much for me. Probably a six out of ten. Um, alongside him, you got Oxley Chamberlain who had some real bright moments and some real times where he was driving the team on. And he had that one shot that he we has to get at least one of them off at the end of the at the end, doesn't he? Um, probably a seven out of ten for Ox, and I think alongside them, Genie probably a seven out of ten as well. Um, they were both caught a couple of times, the two of them, but generally speaking, you know, I think we won that midfield battle. Um, over on the right-hand side, Mo Salah, looked, at, looked like he was really sort of wanting to get involved and he, he stayed a little wider for me today, you know, he stayed on that right-hand side, hugged the touchline at times and, you know, he was the one that I felt something was going to happen with. It was him and Mane were the two players that looked like something was going to happen with. Um, so, yeah... Obviously bags that goal and you know makes makes something out of nothing really because the ball by Mane and obviously Mane bring, uh, wins the ball back. Then he obviously plays that ball and uh, Mo makes something out of nothing because the ball's so bad. Um, gets it inside the post there and probably an eight out of ten for for Salah. Um, Mane goal and an assist as well. Uh, and again an up and down game for him. You know there was times when he was absolutely brilliant and there was times when he was um, going past his man and you know bringing players in and other times he was just miscontrolling the ball and it was going out for throw-ins so uh, I think generally speaking he had a really good game though you know he obviously gets a goal and assist as I mentioned before 8 out of 10 and Bobby Firmino he should have got it back to one all. He should have been the first player to break that deadlock for us. Um, that volley, it's a great through ball, actually, by Trent. And I, I didn't mention that before. Outside of the right foot, um, sort of bends it back into Bobby's path. And Bobby gets his body in front of his man, fires it straight at the goalkeeper on the volley from five yards. And you know, and, and towards the end of the game, that kind of bookends his game, doesn't it? Because he gets that one that's pulled back to him across the area and skies it over the bar. I'd put money on him scoring his first Anfield goal this season at Atletico Madrid. I really would and I think it was very clever management as well by bringing uh, Firmino off right at the end give him a little bit of applause to basically say listen you know I know you haven't got your finishing boots on now but the crowd still love you the crowd still respect you and then he obviously so I'll, I'll probably give Bobby a seven and then Divock Origi today uh, I think he had new trainers on to be honest with you I think I've got a pair of uh, Adidas 80s Continental that look the same as the fucking boots he came on bright white you know what I mean I think he just I don't think he knew he was coming on I don't think they were football boots I think he just come on in his new traps um, I don't think he did anything other than run around the wing once uh, and then get tackled um, so probably a six out of ten for him um, Lalana, yeah he came on um, I'm not sure he did anything. 
Uh, so I'll give him a 6 out of 10. Uh, and I think that was the two substitutions that we made. So there's my player ratings. There's nobody here. We've been basically fenced off from where we normally go. So um, because we've moved five yards, uh, no one can find us. So it's just my player ratings today. So fuck, I've got no one to blame. Um, you will have a field day with how wrong I got it. Uh, as I mentioned on my match reaction, I was sat in the end field lower. So I remember the first half much better than the second. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, and Paul Turney was a tit and is a tit and was terrible today. Uh, and that's how I'm going to end my video. So like the video, subscribe to Redmen TV, and we'll see you next time.